it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're going to try to trap some liquid in a coaster. So we have a little bit of an experiment going today, and it's going to be a coaster that's filled with liquid. So I was inspired by a phone case, a liquid phone case video that I saw, and I'll have that link down in the description below so you can see um, how she did it and I picked up some of her techniques to use on here. So I wanna make sure I give her credit. I know you guys have wanted me to have liquid filled coasters and I haven't been able to figure it out. And for this, we need some clear straws, drinking straws. Just using scissors, I'm cutting straws just to fit right in here. And the reason I went with this many is so that there's very little movement they can do when I finally get them in here. Now the best way to do this is with a lighter, but you need to be very careful. If you're young, be sure to ask your parents for permission to do this first and maybe some help. Um, I have a pair of pliers, I have my straw, and I'm gonna hold it like this, and I have my lighter. Now all I'm gonna do is melt the end. I'm sealing that end, and you only wanna do one end. Before you release it, make sure it's nice and cool, then you can take the pliers off. And you wanna repeat that with the remaining straws. Remember, only do one side. Now over here I have the ones that I've completed with a little bit of water in it to make sure none of them are leaking. Now once it's cooled you can just take it off and you have a nice little seal. And not all of them are going to be perfect. I have six cups of water and I have food color and I'm just going to start mixing the colors. Once you get everything mixed it'd be good to have an eyedropper and just put the color in that way and you don't want to fill it all the way just a little bit less than half is probably ideal and then you want to immediately seal it just like that now it can move around and you want to repeat that process with the different colors so you're going to want to kind of lay it out so you know which one goes where and keep filling now we get to finally put the coaster together. I've mixed one ounce of resin. I'm gonna pour that right into the mold. Once it spreads out, I'll take my lighter, pop the bubbles, just like that. And now I'm gonna start taking my little water-filled straws and just placing them in there. And it's gonna be a little tight, which is what I wanted so that they wouldn't move around too much. And I'm gonna take my lighter and I'm going to quickly if I see any bubbles, I'll pop them quick, but you gotta be careful because you don't wanna melt the straws. We're gonna let this sit probably about 12 hours or so, just so it settles enough where it's not gonna release because if we put more resin in there, we're gonna run the risk of it floating and we wanna make sure they're in there nice and stable. So we're gonna let these sit overnight and then I'll come back and do another layer of resin. The resin is cured and we have the liquid that's moving around in there, so, so far so good. So what we're gonna do now is I have about two ounces of resin mixed and I didn't know if one ounce would be quite enough to level everything off, so I went with two ounces, which I think worked out pretty well. Now I'm gonna pop the bubbles and I'll come back a couple times, make sure I get them all, and then we're going to let this set for about 12 hours. Here's a coaster all finished. We're going to pop it out and see if it worked. Put it on a white background. Check that out. It worked. So that's kind of cool. We got some liquid going on in there. And you can see it from the front and the back. You can rotate it. Be sure to let me know what you think of this coaster down in the comments below. We have some fun bright colors in there. I hope you guys like the liquid coaster and give it a try. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.